All right. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. I don't think that there's a game that I can do a full playthrough for on a channel. I mean, I'll I'll play it. I don't care. I'll play it on my own time and just record it just for... <laughs> like, we'll get the battles and, like, the boss battles and stuff, but... Hmm... Confession booth? I would think that confessing sins would reduce stress. And it just stressed them out more. Good. It's what I wanted. It's healthy to be stressed out. It's a healthy stress. It teaches you to stay the hell away. <laughs> oh, I hate this guy. And so much. An AoE stressor? Jeez, what's wrong with him? Just, just, I just don't want anything to do with them. And then this guy's an asshole too. I, I just hate stress because it stays past the dungeon. Like, I can get hurt all I like. I can go to death's door three times and it's fine. Not preferable, but it's fine. Uh, do I want to mark him? Or just attack him? He doesn't have mu that much health. But reducing his dodge would be nice. Alright. Got him. Yeah, the teams aren't super well, like... They don't work super well together quite yet because I don't have, like, all the characters that I would, that I would want. I don't have all the characters to have all the moves that I want, but... As we progress, we'll get more characters and be able to be a little bit more picky. Um, I don't know if I really care about any of this. Maybe I'll just attack. Yeah. Just more damage, you know? Not a bad idea. <laughs> I don't mind them focusing him. He's the one guy that can heal his own stress, like, other than the paladin. Alright, yeah. Therefore, Take him out. Is broken. Maintain the offensive. Yeah, he'll do that, by the way. <laughs> Just, uh, stay okay, you know? Be alright with yourself. Ooh. Yeah, so I could just finish this guy off and not have to deal with that damage. Destroy them all. Nope. And... Uh, he's got pretty good dodge, too. I do like using the... Uh, the Mark debuff. Uh, yeah, that won't take him out. But stun. Oh, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, okay. Down. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> so satisfying. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Uh, disease resist? He doesn't have any dodge, so negative dodge wouldn't be bad. Ornaments. Neatly ordered. There we go. Lovingly admired. 
Alright, we got another key. So let's check it out. More, more stuff to upgrade things. Oh, it's so good because you have you have your yeah you have your village upgrade items right which is like a separate currency from gold oh you failed you fool oh, now we're all spooked because you failed this is why we all hate rogues I love rogues, what am I talking about? Alright. Um, yeah, but you, you have to choose to carry them home. So you have to, like, remember what you have. And what you need, for that matter. Alright, here we go. Oh, bastards. Come on. Nah, why do they know to focus on someone or is that just or is that just bad luck? I don't know which one's worse. Uh, he's gonna get poisoned, so I'll focus on her. Uh, stop! No! We are all in pain now. Good. Um. All right. Yeah, actually, I wonder. Yeah, no, that still says zero, so it doesn't go under zero, which is good. Uh, this might be the last battle, so I might not worry too much about healing. Yeah, for health. This won't be enough, right? It could be. It could be just enough. But there's a good chance it won't be. Um. I mean, healing sounds important, especially with these two alive. Damn it. Oh, crit. Nice. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. Hell yeah. Freaking Reynold taking it home. Uh, yeah. Okay, she's marked. Kill her. Oh. Alright. That's fine. Don't kill her. <laughs> Alright. So, they may not know to target certain characters, but they certainly seem to have a higher chance to. I don't know. Ow. 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 I want my dodge to go back up, so I'll use this again. Keep the torch light high. Oh my goodness. Just, just finish her off. We need to get out of here, guys. Nice dodge. Keep it up. Bastard. Bastard. Oh, it's so close. Just one more thing to spook him and he's... He's out of here. Ugh. I need to start taking this guy out. Yeah, alright, just don't crit me. <laughs> God. Um, so this guy's gonna die in the next turn because of poison. So I will... Stun this guy. And this guy. Um... Stun him, and then he'll die from poison. Even if he doesn't stun, whatever. <sighs> I 
All right, so they're gonna die from poison now. His health is the same. There's a chance to crit heal him, so. The slow death, unforeseen, unforgiving. All right, I'll take it. Foolish horrors, brought low and driven into the mud. Uh, for twenty-five gold. Sure. I'll take it. Uh, I would appear to have one more battle. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, I don't have another key with me, so this is just. Let's let's have the guy who has health and can heal himself open it, just in case it's trapped. A fortune. Waiting to be spent. Uh, I don't have another. I don't want to eat now, just in case we end up eating on our last hallway. I could use the torch, but I think it'll go out. It's only worth fifteen. Take that. It's worth more. It doesn't tell me unless I'm ready to drop it. Unless the shovel just isn't worth anything. Shovel's probably just not worth anything. And for some reason I don't keep it after the fact. So, you know, that's that's nice. Mmm. <laughs> At least we surprised him, guys. Can I just take him out with this? No, I can't. Unless I crit, which is... I mean, it's a decent chance to crit. I can kill him with poison if it doesn't. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, that's what we needed. That's what Mama wanted. That, they, it's just stun lock him. No, oh, or, or not. That's also fine. Shit. Well, all they can do is deal damage, so... Don't worry about stress anymore. Unless they crit. But, you know. Like that. Mmm. But because he got that crit, he's still within <sighs> healthy range. Um, yes, take one out. Even if the bleed won't mean anything. Stop! Oh, God. Ow. I'll just stun him. Please. Oh my god. Stun him, please. There we go. There, then now we'll basically have like two rounds just to heal. Oh yeah. Poison. Okay. No more healing. As victories <sighs> mount, so too will resistance. Father. Cruel machinations spring to life. Good. A singular purpose. Good. I'm glad that the dungeon is going to kill him. <laughs> oh, good. Good. And we avoided we find victory. having to eat with no food on our hands. Good! Oh my god. Alright. I could stun her.
Alright. And then just take her out. There's no chance, right? Alright. Alright. We'll be fine. Yeah, every battle is like this. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, just take them out as fast as we can. Don't worry about healing. This is the last battle. <sighs> yeah, because he can get her with the poison and then she'll die. Um... Take him out with the guns. Of course! Oh, he dodged! What a badass. Don't do it! Oh, God. There we go. Hell yeah! Usually that's a lot scarier. Sometimes heroes respond to the onslaught of stress by becoming virtuous. This elevated state of performance will last until they suffer a large amount of stress or return to town. And confer stat bonuses and other benefits. I don't know what focus does exactly, but... He buffs my buddies. That's nice. <sighs> okay. All right. Well, that's like the best case scenario there, isn't it? Nice. Now she'll die in her next turn. And. Yeah, let's just take them out, guys. Oh. It was pretty scary for a little while there, not gonna lie. They had us in the first half. Right? That's the joke. <laughs> oh. Alright, uh, just like a de-stress yourself a little bit, buddy. You're fine. You're okay. Everything will be okay. And, yeah. His is higher than his now, so... Nice. And, yeah, before... I mean, he can only hit once, but... He hits pretty hard. I'm not gonna take any more chances. <sighs> this expedition at least promises success. Sure, just eat. Uh check out this box first. It is trapped. Well, he resisted it. Good job. My man. Room by room. All my <sighs> we reclaim what is ours. Like, it's not the scariest game I've played, but it's spooky. There's a way to make that fast, right? Yeah. I didn't get any deeds. No, I got deeds. Okay. I think I got a little bit of everything. Bust, crest, deed. I didn't get any portraits. That's what I didn't get. But I did in the rewards. Ain't bad. Ah, uh, so close. Just one more resolve. Bastards. Ugh. Alright. 
Minus speed and dodge? I mean... It's fine, I guess. Uh, minus melee skills. I mean, it's crit, so I guess it's not a big deal. It could be nice. Alright. Yeah, I feel like the negative quirks are worse than the positive the quirks are good. I fear his long-standing duties here have <laughs> affected him. Oh, this guy? No, he looks he's fine. What are you talking about? Ugh. Well, you're fine now. <laughs> Golly. Oh yeah, this is open up now. Wild places. She is a stalwart survivor. And a strict instructor. This allows me to choose what uh, cap skills people have, which can be really useful. What? Oh, right, this gets rid of negative quirks, that's right. Yeah, that could be useful. How much does it cost? Doesn't say unless I choose. Alright. Uh, yeah, it just depends on how much money you want to put into characters, I guess. Yeah. No, this game... This game is really good. It, the aesthetic is tops. The music is just... Gets you in there, and then the narration, which you can probably turn off. Yeah, narration volume. It's. I like it, but I could definitely see if somebody's playing this game a lot, they might want to turn it off just because that's. He talks a lot, and he says the same old thing over and over. But. The voice acting is really good. It just really, I feel, f just sets the mood. And I think Red Hook Studios doesn't have anything else out of it. Like, this is their only game as far as I'm aware. I tried looking them up and, like, the only thing I got was this game. But they put so much work into it. And... Work, apparent effort... And just overall good stuff. Um, oh, oh, hey, look, upvotes. <laughs> uh, shit, is there really anything to say, though? I'm going to play more of this. Um, this is going to be my horror game of choice for the month of October. Um... Whether that's going to get me through the entire month or not, I don't know. I don't know if I want to stretch this over 30 episodes, but... In any way, in any case, it's it's a good game. Uh, I haven't... Oh, that's not what I thought it was. Um, I want to see if there's any place that keeps a record of the like, lore journals that I get. Because otherwise I haven't been reading it. I kind of wanted to read them. I guess one of there is a way to look at those, but I guess maybe not. I might just have to read them in the moment. Which is weird, because you can keep them through the entirety of the dungeon, so I don't know why you would. Whatever. Um, I guess if I had one complaint, that might be it, but I... I don't know, maybe I'm just missing something. Anyway, um... Man. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll have to get more into this the, as I play it more. There's just a lot of really good There's a lot of really good 
game design choices in here. There's a lot of characters that work well together. Um, like, let's see, we had Sydney that has this. Sniper's Mark. There's a lot of moves that just mark enemies, and then they have a debuff that goes along with it. And there are moves that get increased damage or other effects when enemies are marked. So you can mark an enemy, which norm which doesn't do anything on its own, but then another character will have buffs with that. You can outfit a whole team with attacks that get buffs from an enemy being marked. Um, I don't really remember if there is like actually four characters that have that. Or if there's even a character that has one in the f front row, but even if there isn't, there's, um, you could still put somebody else in the front, it doesn't really matter. Um, and there's a bunch of characters that have different ways to heal. We, we saw, we've seen four so far, or I guess five if you count this guy. Um, oh, and this guy has one, I just haven't unlocked it yet. This guy has two ways to heal. One does stress and torch as well, which is great. Um, this guy, he can heal himself. This guy has this, which increases other healing, which what, which is why I like teaming him up with this guy, because he has weaker heals as well. But with them together, they can both heal pretty well. Uh, this only gives a plus one heal, but it takes care of Blight and Bleed, which... This guy's heal will occasionally make you bleed. And it's just... there. There's a lot of thought that goes into this. There's a... Uh... Oh man, I think this guy's cut? Yeah, open vein. It reduces their chance to re uh, resist bleed. Which you can then either just use this again... Or use a character, another character that has an attack that causes bleed, which I don't think I have anyone else. I don't think so. Um, but like the Jester, I think the um, Gravedigger and the other guys, I don't know. You can make a bleed team, you can make an, uh, a crit team, you can make a marked team, you can make... Uh, probably a blight team. Yeah, there's there are things that reduce blight resistance. And each of those, except for I guess marked, have enemies that are resistant to them. So like the skeletons, they're resistant to bleed. They... It's... So you'd want to use somebody who has... You would want to use a blight team in the uh, ruins rather than a bleed team then there's uh, there there is another place I think there was like pigs in it the wield I guess had um they had really high blight resist so you would want to use a bleed team in there so it just kind of like there's good synergy with different characters and I feel like there's a thing that you don't see as often as I feel like you should. Just synergy across classes. Um, it's really clever and I like it, but not every character has like one um, like better build, right? Like I have this guy who has a pretty good build. I, he has he has these three ranged attacks, and he's got this one for the bleed effect. But then he could be almost completely melee based, where he has open vein, duelist advance, just a normal attack, which has high crit and high damage. And you would probably take... Probably take paint point blank, because that has high, really high damage. Um, it's good stuff. Um, hell, you can make a move team, a team that's just like 
constantly moving around the battlefield and it doesn't matter where they are in the lineup because they're still going to be able to attack or move or whatever. It's really good, really well thought out, and I love playing this game. Um, <laughs> I also get really frustrated with it, really stressed out, because it is like a constant, like any battle could be the death of a character. And if you lose a character, then you lose all the money that you put into them. Uh, you lose the trinkets that they have on their body. You lose... Time. Um... And if you... If everyone dies, and well, I mean, yeah, you lose all of that, and you also lose stuff that's on the... That you gathered in the... Um... Adventure. So, jeez, man. <laughs> it's a lot of stress going on. And it's not its not an easy game. Uh, it's been easy so far, but the further you get into it, the harder it gets. The better your characters get, and the like more synergy you will have. So you're able to combat it, but the stress, like, damn it. The amount of stress goes up so much faster. Um, damage goes up so much faster. It's just all all around bad times for everyone, which makes it an all around good time for me because I this game is great. <laughs> um, all right. So, question of the day, right? How spooked are you? No, I don't know. I don't really have a question right now. I'll, I'll put it in in post. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, see you in the next one.